um, in my MA previous attending uh, 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 Attending the India One class, uh, I didn't understand a word of, of what was being said. I think uh, we started with uh, Homo Hierarchicus, and uh, for the first week, I didn't know where I was. Uh, and then I started sort of uh, going up and actually hiding from, uh, uh, from from everybody because I thought I was completely illiterate and I would uh, hide in the third stack of them. There I chanced on um, on Goffman's asylums, you know, just sort of browsing around and I said, yeah, this is the kind of thing I want to do and this is the kind of stuff I come here for. But, but earliest memories are, are are very pleasant ones, but they are also very hazy ones. Uh, you know, I, this is I'm, I'm talking of uh, 1979, you know, when I started my previous over here, and uh, it was, you know, gradually you sort of uh, uh, got into the groove and you began to read stuff and so on. And um, partly it seemed completely banal, but uh, uh, the exciting part was fabulous. And, you know, and that was the time I was sort of uh, taking all the, in a sense, uh, the competitive exams, not the civil services, but at, you know, so I had applied for various management institutes and uh, things like that, and I sort of decided that I didn't want to, uh, uh, I got into a fairly good one, but I decided I didn't want to go there, and uh, this was a place that I wanted to be. Uh, at least until I finished my MA and then one, you know, one would take it as it went. Uh, so I really didn't know what I was in for in a manner of speaking, but uh, once one started, um, it was uh, uh, in terms of uh, 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 provoking, very provocative the place, uh, uh, and in uh, other ways uh, um, boring. I mean, so it's a combination of uh, the two. Uh, 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 in a manner, I've always thought of these school as both these. It's a kind of bimodal distribution. It's both provocative and uh, completely mundane. And I think that's what gives it a certain distinctive character. I can honestly say, really, I can honestly say that uh, there hasn't been a single there have been very, very few days where I haven't liked coming to this place. Um, both as student, uh, there was a fair part in my MPhil which uh, uh, where I was, I didn't like this place at all. But both as student and then teacher, it was, it's been a, it's been a place to come to. It's been, a, in some ways, a sanctuary. In other ways, a, an, an escape. Uh, but in uh, uh, many very important ways, uh, a place to to recharge oneself, to to find new readings, to talk to people. It's been, uh, Colleagues and students. I mean, that's that's been uh, that has been uh, one of the pleasures of uh, uh, really. You know, uh, and I don't mean to be dramatic about it, but that's been very, very nice. It's been very nice. For me. Myself as a person, um, well, I've got horns and a bushy tail. I mean, I guess. Um, and nasty. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, as a person, I I don't think of that question uh, um, seriously enough. I never have, uh, in a manner of speaking. I, mean, I don't know. I, I think of myself much more as an academic than a, a person. I don't know where the person is. <laughs> the person has sort of slid under. So uh, I guess I'm easy going. I mean, um, Lazy. I like to read. I don't know what else to say. Very boring as a person. Contributions uh, again difficult to speak about because uh, really, in a manner of speaking, as far as my work is concerned, uh, that's not for me to decide. You know, that's for readers and people who comment and who engage. I mean, it's for them to decide. I can't uh, really say that I've pioneered this or that particular field or I've done um, extraordinary work. I don't think I've done extraordinary work. Uh, uh, I've just done my work and uh, 
I think I had a certain uh, uh, success with a certain kind of student, uh, uh, which is to say uh, the student who goes uh, off into to, to research. I think that my contributions have been, uh, they've counted the most with, uh, uh, with those kinds of students. And uh, that's one of the things that I would carry with me is that, uh, uh, that in one way or the other, I have entered into conversations with students who, and they have gone on to do research, and uh, in most cases, those conversations haven't ended. So that's that's one. The other is, uh, of course, with uh, my teachers. Uh, you know, uh, again, um, I feel uh, deeply privileged to uh, have the kind of teachers that uh, I did. And if it wasn't for them, it would be this would be. This would be hellish. Uh, so the conversations I've been able to have with uh, uh, people like uh, Jeet Oberoi or Veena Das have been, been, they've sort of provided me with, uh, with really with a new language, like a new way of uh, uh, thinking about things and looking at things and talking about things and so on. So uh, both in terms of uh, those who were above me, my teachers, and those who are, uh, you know, those who I teach, uh, it's, been, it's been a great ride, it's been a great ride, and my uh, uh, contributions to, uh, uh, you know, sort of acted as a seed that you pass from one to the other, from uh, what one has learned to uh, uh, what one teaches, uh, uh, and uh, I think that there is a great, uh, great, great uh, uh, environment for, for doing the kind of stuff that uh, I'm interested in. I don't say that I'm the only one who's interested in doing that. But there is a certain, uh, I can see that there is a certain hunger in students to sort of uh, learn and I'm fortunate to be in a position at a point in that uh, one can sort of guide them, perhaps inadequately, you know, imagine that, uh, uh, but sort of guide them to uh, particular sorts of texts and particular ways of looking at things. So that's 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 my contribution. I I I, I see. In terms of the work that I've produced, uh, it's not it's not extensive. I'm the first to acknowledge that. But what, uh, 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 but as far as my own effort is concerned, what I have produced has been uh, produced uh, uh, after fairly rigorous effort. So I don't publish very much, but what I do publish, I publish, I take a long time to write. Now I don't know the quality of what I publish, but I take a long time and I, uh, and I think about what I write over a long period of time. That's just the way I do my work. I mean, uh, there are others who can sort of uh, produce a paper a week and that's a uh, great quality, but uh, I can't do that kind of stuff. So I have to mull over what I do and I have to uh, read all around it. So uh, I can't really say uh, what's the quality of that. Um, sometimes one senses that yes, you know, the kind of work one did uh, 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 resonates somewhere, and uh, it's I feel uh, in a sense affirmed when uh, it resonates in places that I know nothing about. So you know, there are anonymous readers who are doing your kind of uh, who are reading you, and uh, uh, you just get a mail from someone who. Is, the blue yonder uh, and uh, saying that uh, you know I, I read this and blah 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 and we enter into a conversation that's 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 I suppose exhilarating for any academic for anyone who, uh, who writes uh, actually not merely for those who you know but also for those who you don't know I, mean, I think that, uh, that that's one of the pleasures of writing that you are reaching out to those who you probably will never meet face to face and that's, that's when they do respond I think mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful. To me, uh, uh, in a very basic way, the discipline is the discipline of sociology, anthropology, whatever you wish to call it, is uh, uh, to me is, uh, is life. Uh, uh, it's a way of looking at things. Uh, uh, and it, it's sort of, I, I can see uh, uh, it's possible to make an argument that uh, you find uh, uh, sociology and anthropology uh, 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 wherever you are. Uh, and it's possible to do that kind of uh, uh, exercise. So if you ask me, does it have a specific object? Uh, I suppose like any other discipline, the, the, the object is life. And of course death, of course, of course death. Uh, 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 but, uh, uh, 
outside of that, yeah, there are certain methods that one uses, and you say, oh, okay, well, there is a methodological sort of object, and there is a, you know, there are empirical objects, and there are objects that are philosophical, so on. Yes, uh, they are all those, but uh, pared down to its most basic detail, uh, uh, I would think that the object of the discipline is really to, to address life from a particular point of view. Uh, I think that's, uh, uh, that's to me that's what the discipline is. It's both hopes and fears. You know, I mean, there is a certain uh, trepidation, if you want. Uh, the hopes are that, uh, you know, given that this for your program is uh, on the angle, um, I think. The strength, the potential is for this department to really remake itself, to reinvent itself in um, in, in interesting sorts of uh, ways and to begin to think about uh, where it is, what it's doing, uh, what are its uh, core strengths. Uh, uh, there are very, very good people here. I'm sure they'll be able to sort of uh, uh, do that. Um, the fears are that, uh, you know, we do need a critical mass. And uh, if you don't have that critical mass, I think the way in which we uh, do our MA teaching, I think that's going to sink under. I would hate to imagine that when once we turn into a one-year master's program, uh, then effectively we become a school which gives diploma diplomas in um, human rights and social justice. I mean, yes, those are important sorts of things, but uh, the discipline is more than that. I think the strength of the department has been that it uh, is able to incorporate diversity and plurality of points of view, of arguments, of uh, positions and uh, ideologies and so on. I would uh, uh, expect that to, to, to continue at some point. I would hope that that uh, uh, continues. The fear is that it will not. The fear is that we will be reduced to a, a, a skeleton frame. Um, the potential is that uh, uh, this is a great opportunity to uh, reinvent and to begin to think about the program and about pedagogy, uh, uh, especially the pedagogy of, uh, uh, of uh, sociology as it has been and will be taught here in completely different ways. I think that we are that we do have the intellectual acumen to, uh, to do that kind of work. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, partly it depends on uh, how, what's the relation of the department to the university, but I think we need to address a very, very important constituency, uh, uh, which is uh, that of our students. We need to begin to uh, think about them in uh, different ways. Um, one of the things that I see is that there is a certain kind of uh, uh, imagining of the student within, a, within you know, the matrix of being disciplined. Now, it has its part, but uh, uh, I don't think you can leave it at that. I think that one has to also begin to uh, listen to what students are saying somewhere. I think it's important to do that. Read. Right. <laughs> what else can I say? Uh, uh, one should not, uh, 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 you know, you, you have to, there are a couple of mantras and one of the mantras is that you've got to read every day and you've got to uh, write hopefully every day. So if you want to, uh, as an aspiring sociologist, uh, uh, I can't see uh, 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 how you can abstract these two basic things of, uh, uh, of reading, of writing, of uh, uh, and of disagree. You must disagree, and you must disagree with uh, 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 teachers and so on. And you must. I think students need. Them. I think we all need to be a little more irreverent. Uh, uh, I don't mean uh, insulting or humiliating, but we need to be a little more irreverent, and we need to sort of think of this place in. Um, ways that are slightly more humorous. You know, we can't take ourselves so seriously all the time. I mean, I think that's, uh, that's dull. And one has to learn also, I suppose. Uh, well, one of the things about aspiring sociologists is just remember that the work you're doing is, uh, uh, is not 
going to be really earth shattering. Uh, you know, sociology is not going to be dated from you before you and after you. No, it doesn't happen like that. Alas, unfortunately. Uh, so don't think that you are going to uh, change the discipline. Much less are you going to change the world. So this business of uh, study and struggle, you know, struggle is political, study is uh, intellectual. Uh, uh, but sometimes you have to struggle to study too. And it's important. So learn to do that kind of exercise. I mean, I think that's uh, my advice to aspiring sociologists would be that, hey, I'm in the same boat as you are. And uh, I really don't know uh, with absolute certainty what uh, the damn discipline is. But, uh, you know, we all aspire. But uh, uh, there must be ways by which you aspire, you know? So, so like, you know.